I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha ha. You're mad, Miss Wikiana. Miss Wig, Miss Wig, Miss Wikiana. Miss Wig. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Before we get into this video, everything I say is not motherfucking fact in this bitch, so don't take it as such. Girls can't take my motherfucking mouth, bitch. My mouth is real and it's raw and it's watchy, bitch. I'm gonna give the girls exactly what the fuck they asked for. The girls is going to know my wrath. Trust me. Well, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning user, now shout out to you, first of all, for coming back each week to get the chaos in my memory blanks in this bitch, in my sour ass mouth. But if you are a new user, also shout out to you. I am Karen Huger's wig or the wiggy Anna. And welcome to my channel. I will be going over the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Hold on. <laughs> Those bitches are over. Not over like they're canceled, but they're off the air now. No more Housewives of Beverly Hills. We're going to go over the Real Housewives of Potomac. The re Hold on. My God. Now something is attacking my tongue. Maybe it's the Dittler. <laughs> I know some of you bitches may be here from, or people may be here from my Diddy documentary. And this video has nothing to do with Diddy. And all of my content will not pertain to Diddy Bop, Dittler. Uh-uh. I'm not going to have all of that take over my page. Um, Time to time, I will be giving updates and whatnot on his sour ass. But for him to be taking over my page... Uh -uh, I don't want no bitches at my door trying to tie me up and bound and gag me. Okay, so like I was saying before my tongue got twisted in this bitch, I will be going over the Real Housewives of Potomac finale episode and a little bit of the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion part one. So let's get into it. Is there anything that you and I need to talk about? Absolutely not. The help is talking to me. Can you get the help? Get the help away from me. You don't have anything to say to me in front of my face, all right? But whatever happens, you don't want to say anything. <laughs> okay, that's me interrupting. I tried to do it real seductively. But yes, it's me interrupting. And I know you guys are probably at home like, ugh, bitch. Look, I cannot show the fight in its entirety or whatever because... My video will get snatched down for violence, and I don't want my video to get snatched down due to violence. I'm already teetering on the edge with my content, so for that reason, you can take your ass to TMZ.com or whatever to watch the fight, the royal rumble in the club, but basically Miss Kiana, Kiana, whatever, Miss K, was beating upon Deborah's head, Sesame Street lady. I'm not calling you Sesame Street lady, that's just what the girls call you, so I'm trying to refer to you as the name that people would remember you by, which is mostly Cookie Monster, or, hold on, <laughs> Sesame, girl, I don't know what they calling you, they calling you Cookie Monster, Sesame Street Lady, and Deborah. so it's alternating between those three names. So if I refer to her by any of those three names, just know that, again, I'm not calling you that, it's just what we know you as due to what they call you on the show. Okay, yes, she is getting beat down by Miss K and it's going something a little like, ooh, 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 ooh. then they get on the ground and it's, ah, 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 ah. So now you're about to see the aftermath of the rumble. Get her ass out. Get her ass out. Where is she? Where is she? Where's the ladies room? Oh my God. Call the ambulance. What happened? How did that get like that? Deborah, do a drink on Candace. She do a drink on Candace, but she oh hit me in the head. What, what happened? Look, Ashley, you may try to gaslight the audience, but I cannot let you gaslight me. You and your forehead will not get away with this travesty that has happened on The Real Housewives of Potomac that has it turned into the love and hip-hop of Potomac in this bitch with all these rumbles. Okay? This is supposed to be a show of elegance and class, and we are rumbling in the club. This is too much for me. But who did I blame? Miss Ashley Anna, the bitch who's playing victim, or not victim, but she's sitting there confused talking about what happened when she was standing right there. Girl, you were there. And I know some of you guys will be like, what the fuck, where's that clip at? Well, it's in the clip that I can't show due to violence and I, me not wanting my channel shut down. Okay, yes. But basically from the clip that I saw, Miss Ashley was there and she was there helping Miss Candiana not throw a bottle at Miss Deborah 
who threw a drink at her or tried to throw a drink on her. But Miss Kayana, Miss Kiana, whatever, Miss K got in the middle and then started mushing Miss Deborah and they ended up on the floor. So that's what happened. And Miss Ashley is acting like she didn't know what happened when she was standing right the fuck there, bitch. What, girl? And on top of that, what the fuck did you think was going to happen when you invited this messy asshole who is known or, yeah, who you know has problems with two girls on the castmate or castmate? Girl, somebody's fucking with my song. Look, let me start over. Why would you invite Miss Deborah when she has problems with your cast members and she has made up rumors? on their husbands. I don't know, never just when I grabbed her, I picked, like, picked her up and she was like, um, one of Wendy's friends. Uh, like I said, I don't know why she needs anything explained to her because the bitch was standing right there. I don't mean to call you out of your name, but it's just the gaslighting for me. Like, it, okay, that shouldn't excuse me to call you out of your name. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But I'm just confused or not confused. You're confused in this bitch and you're confusing me. Or you're not confused. You know what you're doing, Miss Ashley. You're trying to gaslight us when you were standing right there and you know your friend came to be messy in this hoe. Or maybe you didn't know she was going to come to be messy, but she has had messy behavior and she's not even a cast member. So clearly she's doing all of this mess on your behalf or trying to get on this show. I mean, the stuff with Wendy's husband, Candiana's husband, and now she comes to the club and now she's in a fight. And I'm not trying to victim shame as she was in a fight. Or I shouldn't say she's a victim of the fight because she started the fight by throwing a drink on Candiana, which she admitted. But now you got... Okay, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm a little upset. But I just want to clarify, um, I don't condone violence. And I'm not trying to say that just because Miss Deborah came to the fight, it automatically... Or not the fight. Ha! <laughs> just because Miss Deborah came to film, that doesn't mean she automatically gets the right to get beat up. I'm just saying... What did you think would happen when you invited Miss Deborah, who is so eager to start mess? So it's clear she'll do anything to get camera time. And look what has happened. I'm not doing this no more. I'm pissed. I this know, girl I has no reason to talk that shit out of me. I'm talking to talk to her mom. She has, I, talking know. Her I know you are. To to her but mom. let's put her first. Like let's do that. Whole... I need to yeah, see right. nearest right. hospital. Okay. She's going to be all right. Get that raggedy bitch out. You're right. Get that right. Sesame Street ass stop. bitch Let's and stop. don't come stop. back. Uh, <laughs> bitches want to call me ratchet and ghetto. Meanwhile, their favorite show is on the brink of turning into love and hip hop, okay? Not Kayana. Why do I keep calling her Kayana? <laughs> what the fuck? Why is Kiana bandaged up? My God, she was really mushed. And she was the one who knocked first. You're going to knock first and get butt on the floor? You got glass mushed upon your forehead? You want to let her do that to you, Miss K? I'm playing. I'm not condoning violence. And I'm not trying to shame them in their fighting abilities. I'm just saying, like, oh, my God, this is really not elegant, not classy, as I said earlier. Uh, now, as we move on from losing the elegance in class, I just wanted to say, Miss Candy Anna, why are you not in the bathroom checking in on your good girl? The fight is over. Deborah got mashed. Well, technically, it looks like I just said again. Hold on. Well, I didn't say again. My mouth is confused for a second. Let me start over. Like I was just about to say, or as I just said in this bitch, you saw Miss Deborah already get into the fight, and technically, she did beat up in my opinion, because the one leaving bandaged is Miss K. But anyways, she did beat up Miss K, and Miss K got into a fight on your behalf. So why are you not in the bathroom? Or I don't know that Miss K got in a fight on your behalf, but it, that's just what it's coming off as. Because Deborah meant to fight you, and somehow Miss K is in the middle of it. But anyways, why are you not checking in on your good girl? The fight is over. And if you were going to do something, you would have done it by now. And you have not. So stop acting like you are going to do something now in this moment. And don't come back. Why? Why, Grover? And don't come back, you f***ing cockroach. A lot of people are blaming Ashley for this, mm -hmm. which I, I don't know what she knew. Because people are saying that. Right. I'm not saying that she knew it. It's just she invited her friends. 
Okay, she yes. invited her friend, but you and her friend, her friend. have issues. Yeah. And well, so, she has issues. So what with happened me. with the fight? Like, how did this fight even start? You know, cameras were still, we still got to hear some of what was going on. We got to see some things, some yeah. uh, blows being thrown. I was yeah. like, who's that? Who's that? Who's in the dress? Who's? Yeah. So you were there. I was there. I I believe that she came there to jump me for and wanting to fight. And all because you call her Sesame Street. Yes. Is that the full reason? I, I don't know. Okay. I think so. But then she also, like, did videos where she was, like, posing with Elmo and embracing being called Sesame Street. So she walks over to me. Cameras go down. Security goes away. She waits for that. Comes over to me. Gets right in my face and says what you hear in the audio. Mm -hmm. Do we have a problem? Da, 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 da. And there was more back and forth that was cut out. So I'm thinking, oh, my God, she's going to try to fight me. Mm -hmm. So natural inclination is I have to defend myself now. What can I use to defend myself? Because I'm standing in these like six inch Valentino pumps. I'm not running. Right. I can't really like square up. So I grabbed what was close to me. It happened to be a bottle of champagne. If she had come at me, I don't know what would have happened. But, but you were I just trying to make I sure was you were prepared, prepared to defend myself. I'm chilling. Candace is here. She's gonna call me the help. And then out of nowhere, Kiana hits me in my face. And then I threw my. Was she punch you? Yeah, in my face. <laughs> That's when we got on the floor. Deborah. Put your hands on me and think I'm not going to say anything. Hey, and I'm not going to do anything. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Excuse me, Deborah, girl. You're not the victim. You're making it seem as if you are by saying people are going to put their hands on me and think I'm not going to do nothing. Bitch, well, technically, Miss K put her hands on you while you were trying to put your hands on Miss Candiana first. Deborah. Put your hands on me and think I'm not going to say anything. Hey, okay. And I'm not going to do anything. I you threw the drink on Miss Candiana. So what did you think Miss Candiana was going to do? Or anybody that was friends with Miss Candiana? Well, you probably didn't expect anybody to knock back at your ass. But look what happened. Well, not look what happened because you beat Miss K's ass. In my opinion, I know you guys are probably going to be up in arms talking about, no, she didn't, no, she didn't. Well, like I said, the one leaving bandaged and fucked up is Miss K. And while Miss K is my good girl, well, I don't know her, <laughs> but I'm just saying in my head, she's my good girl. She got her ass beat in a fight that wasn't meant for her. While maybe the drink probably got on her, I or maybe she thought the drink was coming for her. Maybe that was her excuse. But I think that she, in my opinion, was fighting on Miss Candiana's behalf. Not that Miss Candiana told her to or knew that this was going to happen. I just think that she just felt like, look, for example, I'm a good friend. So if I felt like somebody was coming for one of my friends, I'm going to step in on my or not on my, on their behalf, okay? Look, I don't know what's going on with my tongue today and get it's getting twisted. Look, see, look what's happening, bitch, okay? Diddy, leave me the fuck alone. I know I did my documentary on your ass, but you don't need to haunt me. Leave me alone. You need to haunt yourself and put yourself in jail for all the sour things you have done while you have not been convicted of these things. I mean, just why would anybody make up these wild, sour ass things upon your sick ass? So don't be putting voodoo upon my tongue just because you are doing sour things and I am exposing it. But on a real note, thank you guys for bearing with me while I choke on my motherfucking tongue in this bitch ass. I could stop and re-record these things when I mess up, but I just like to give it to you bitches raw and keep going because who the fuck has time to be inauthentic and repeat things that I already said and say again in this bitch because I choked on my fat ass fucking tongue, okay? So like I said, you're just going to get it raw. And like I also said, I appreciate you guys again for bearing with me and the voodoo that is put upon me and my tongue. Yes. The girl Deborah threw a drink on Candace. She threw a drink on Candace. She and threw a I, drink on Candace. I pushed her out the way, but then I believe I don't even know what happened. We were she, fighting, but you hit me in the head. If she goes to the hospital, I want to talk to her mom and let her know where she's at. Yeah, Let's go. I'm with you. I got your purse. I got your purse. I'm right here with you. It's K, okay? Ah, does Miss K look okay, girl? She's bleeding. And she looks like a motherfucking cyclops. We can't even see her other eye. Like, goddamn. I'm confused. Or, hold on. Did Miss Deborah hit her in the head with a glass? Or was those her fists that made her bleed like that? Either way, damn, Miss K. 
You can't be fighting other people's battles. Or if you're going to fight, you're all going to need, like, swords in this bitch or something. Like, medieval or... I don't know. I'm not, again, condoning violence. And I don't want to see y'all fight with swords. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just saying, bitch. Y'all... What? This is crazy. Okay? I'm trying to figure out what you got hit upside your head with that made you bleed like that. So we're standing up. Next thing I know, Deborah, Sesame Street, or whatever. She takes a drink. Whew, she goes to hit cans. At that point, I'm like, like pushing her back because I see like she's a problem. She turns around, grabs a glass, hits me in my damn forehead. I'm a, I'm a dumb hoe. I'm a dumb hoe. I'm a, I'm a dumb hoe. But that is okay because I am in good company with Miss Ashley Anna in the Dumb Ho Club. Okay. I can hold myself accountable in this bitch. I am not Miss Giselle or Robbie Anna, and y'all don't need to be in the comments talking about, well, weren't you listening? I'm about to clarify myself, okay? Because my dumb ass was sitting here talking about, I don't know what Miss Kiana got hit upside her head with, and clearly it was a glass, which was said throughout this whole motherfucking recap and edit. Well, not said by me, but by the girls in the edit. So... To why I was sitting here confused, I don't know. But now you have the clarification to what she got hit upside her head with. Well, y'all knew probably because you're going to tell me in the comments anyway. Like, bitch, weren't you listening? No, clearly I was not. But back to my point, she shouldn't have started nothing if she didn't want to get hit upside her head. And granted, Miss Deborah got it jumping in this bitch. But Kiana jumped in, okay? She didn't need to jump. I know, but I know tensions between Deborah and Candace have been, on, you know, like bubbling for a long time. But what's the name jumped in it, though? So I she know. Have stayed out of it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, let me stop singing, first of all, because this is not a variety show. And I know you guys didn't come to hear me sing. I'm so sorry. But I just wanted to say, Ashley, you playing dumb is just really tiring. And I want it out of my face. Actually... I want you out of my face. I was saying I wanted your antics out of my face, but how about we wrap your ass up in a bow and fire you? We have fired now. I'm getting ahead of myself. But now we have fired Candiana, or not fired her, but she has left or whatever the case may be. She's gone, okay? And Miss Robbie Anna is allegedly gone. Miss Ashley, she needs to go. Because what storyline does she have besides rubbing Michael's feet? Yeah. I was trying to think of something else. Oh, and this little piss-ass clothing line. <laughs> I'm not trying to play your clothing line, but, like, girl, ain't nobody buying no GNA. What the fuck is GNA in the first place? When, okay, and I'm not a fashion king, as you see clearly, but I'm just saying, like, I don't look to Ashley or Giselle for fashion sense or advice or anything fashion-related, so why would they come up with a clue? Okay, anyways, back to my point. While her friend is correct of Kiana jumped into a fight that didn't involve her or wasn't meant for her. Ashley, you're the one who invited Miss Deborah, who you knew had issues with these ladies, okay? While, yes, these ladies should be grown enough to not fight, you should have known something was going to pop off and your good girl started something first. So, yes, you should be feeling oh so motherfucking bad. I'm here for Ashley getting her motherfucking lashings, okay? Again, this is not all of her fault, but she should have known better in this bitch. And she's not getting off any motherfucking hooks, okay? Deborah is my homegirl. She really has held me down and been supportive of me so much over these last couple of years. So even though we're not together romantically, because we talk about the kids all the time, it doesn't feel any different. What's that saying? Like cheaper, cheaper to keep her? And I don't have Candace at the forefront of my mind when I think about Debra. Uh, so you and your big ass forehead just gonna play dumb. Yes, okay. Wow, you shouldn't have, like you are saying, I guess Miss Candy Anna at the forefront of your motherfucking big ass head when you have an event that will involve Debra or you will invite Debra to. You should know better that Miss Deborah is known to start mess. She's the one starting mess with them. They didn't seek to start a mess out with your friend. Your friend, Miss Deborah, is the one starting mess. What are you not getting? So when you invite Miss Deborah to these events, what the fuck do you think will happen? Okay? 
Again, I'm not blaming the fight on you. I'm just saying like you do have some involvement by inviting somebody who you know is going to start mess with people on your cast. You playing dumb, you need to stop. There's no need for everyone to be feeling like pressure because so-and-so is here. I can be, and I have been, in a room with people that I don't mesh with all the time. I've said and repeatedly say, I don't condone fighting. I just don't do it. Like, we talk, we yell, we say things with our words. You know, my castmates and I have all gone toe-to-toe -to -toe at some point in time. I've never, ever thought to use my hands. I'm just not that way. So for the actions that happened that night, they are not in alignment with who I am. They are not in alignment with what I believe. And I could never have anticipated that that would happen. Um, I know a lot of people think otherwise, but yeah, I just don't get down like that. I don't roll with it. It's unfortunate that it happened that way, but you know, I can only deal with the aftermath and uh, you know, that's, that's it. I'm an adult. You've never seen me put a hand on anybody, okay? I'll never spank my children and I'll never put hands on anybody who doesn't touch me first. And that's just that. I, I saw you walking in. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you know I broke it before. Yes. So it just re-injured. I mean, how did this happen? Sharice, what happened to your foot? <laughs> I was security, remember? Why is Sharice in my face? Uh, see, this is your crime method being in my face. You got your foot stomped out in the midst of being in this motherfucking fight. That's what you get. No, I'm playing. I'm not wishing pain upon Miss Sharice. I just, again, am confused on why she's in my face every motherfucking week. And if bitches are getting fired, she better not get a motherfucking flute in replacement of bitches getting fired. And if bitches are getting fired, she must get fired too as a friend of or whatever her title is on this season. Queen of annoyance. Grand dame of deviled eggs. Grand dame of a bitch who won't get out of my face. <sighs> so am I happy that she got her foot stomped on? Just a little bit. <laughs> Is that right? No, I know. Everyone involved in this situation was an adult, number one. So while they were my friends, I'm not taking ownership or responsibility for their behavior because I don't need to. Don't like what happened. And to see what happened to Kay was heartbreaking to me. A lot of people ask why I asked if the cameras were still rolling while we were filming, okay? And I want to say that the reason I asked that, sorry, I just got a WhatsApp from somebody, sorry, got a little distracted, okay. The reason I asked that is because when we're filming, we can only play cleared music. And our event, which, first of all, major shout out to um, Zebby's Garden and Mayflower, which is a club in D.C. They really hooked us up. They did everything they could for us. No one could have anticipated the events that transpired that night. The club is not at fault. Like, they were amazing. So the reason that I asked for the cameras to rolling is because when the cameras are up, we can only play clear music. And I want to give props to... Bravo and Truly Original Art Production Company because the music has gotten a lot better, okay? It used to be karaoke beats. Now we got some bops, okay? But still, people were like, hey, like, are we going to get some different music? Because our event went a little longer than anticipated. So we were like, okay, y'all. So I'm asking, can I tell the DJ to start playing some Java Like It's Hot music? That's what I wanted. Everybody wanted to clap some cheeks, you know? Which, oh gosh, let me take that back. That's not what I meant to say. But you know, everybody wanted to dance, okay? So that's why I asked that. That's clear music is music that has been approved by uh, Bravo and Truly Original. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's the only reason I asked that. That's actually not a spoiler. It's not brought up at the reunion, so I can address that now. Um, but that is the reason that I ask, are the cameras still rolling? Because we wanted to play some different music. I had no other intentions aside from that. I've grown to really like Kay, and I care about Deborah as my friend. I don't really know what transpired before, because what she says is, you were talking about her or something, and you were calling her vermin or the help. Candace, 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 Candace got into an argument with the girl. The girl threw a drink at her. Candace grabs a champagne bottle. So I grab the bottle. And then I'm holding on to her. 
and I'm, we're all over the place. And I'm like holding on to her like this, trying to, you know, keep her. Why don't you grab her. a bottle though? That was her reaction when the girl did a drink. Clearly, your friend came with an agenda. A level of trust in this group, Ashley, I'm going to put it out there, has been destroyed. So clearly, Miss Deborah's ass was wanting to say something to Miss Candy Anna. I mean, she's been making posts all on social media about being called a cookie monster and so on. So what did you think would happen if they didn't see each other for months and now you have this event? They're both here. Do you think they're not going to say anything? Do you think your messy ass friend who is making up lies upon their husbands? When I say their, I mean Miss Wendy and Candy Anna's husbands. Did you not think something was going to happen, especially when your friend is queen of mess? Or maybe she's not the queen of mess because you are. But your court jester, you didn't think that she was going to start mess? And look what happened. So I'm here for the lashings. Again, no Ashley should not take all of the blame for the fight as everybody should be able to control themselves. But you should take some part of the blame, bitch. I'm not here for you playing dumb to ask why these bitches were fighting or that something happened, period. Because you should have expected that. Or you should have gave them some warning that this bitch was coming. I feel this sends a bigger message to a larger group of people who want to come up and f us up anytime they want, okay? That we can never allow, in this circle, to bring anyone around each of us that means, that means any us, harm yeah. to us. Excited yeah. about therapy? No. Oh. You know we're going through a lot, right? all the financial issues and the businesses yeah. and stuff. Like, that's the main Girl, focus. yes. <laughs> to say the least. Okay. I've been perfect, of course. Ah, oh, well, of course. Perfection of is course. impossible to achieve. So I know of that is false. Of course, he thinks he's so perfect. <laughs> oh, I hear it's animosity. <laughs> so I guess we'll start with check-in. With the D word being thrown yeah. out. Before this whole crisis, mm -hmm. I had actually retained a lawyer to file for divorce. Where are you both now? What's the D word? Divorce? Divorce. Oh. You know, as far as the D word, that was never my consideration, so you gotta ask her. Well, I, I agree and disagree because I've been asking what did I do wrong, and the only thing that's been said is I wasn't listening. We did get to a point where I was ready to divorce you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but I was ready well, to I didn't know that, but okay. <laughs> You, but you did. Well, you didn't know that at the time, but you know that now. I didn't know it at the time until I saw the receipts from their lawyer that you were talking to. Like, okay. I, I think I said this in our session last time I was here with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I am committed to Gordon through thick and thin. And so when I seek counsel for a divorce, it was because I wanted to outweigh all of my options because I mm -hmm. felt like we were in a space where you were really difficult to, like, cohabitate with. There was a moment where you were very combative. You were combative with your kids. You were combative with our partners. You were combative with me. And I'm just like, I don't know. I've lived my, my whole childhood, which I had no control over, was combative. I'm not living in a combative life. You might have set the door. <sighs> Delivery? OK, thanks. Yep. All right, we're good? OK. All right, so are we gonna um, talk about like how long am I gonna have to sleep in Gigi's room? Like, are you gonna head back to Charlotte? Uh, so I know I didn't set up the scene, but if you're wondering what's going on and you didn't watch the episode, basically this is the demise of Gordon and his sugar baby's relationship. I think one of them has now filed for divorce and this is the result or this is the aftermath in this bitch. So let's get into Miss... Mia and her pop pop. Like, what are you doing? I plan on going back around the 8th, 9th, 10th of November. Is that not soon enough for you? Because I'm here because you asked me to come and watch the kids because you have functions. It's up to you. If you want me to leave early and you got coverage for the kids, have at it. Let's talk about, like, longevity. I don't want to have to, like, sleep in Juju's room. You asked for this, so I don't think you thought this through well enough to think about all the unintended consequences. So this is one of them. I've known you've been having an affair for 10 years or longer. An affair for 10 years? What's going on? I know y'all have like an open relationship type thing in this bitch. So how is an affair? Hold on. Wait a minute. 
y'all freaks in y'all's relationship guidelines and this bitch be confusing me because if she's allowed to um, have sex with other people, how is it considered in an affair? Like, emotional affair or something of the sort? Can, is that it? Okay, maybe it's clicking for me now. Was she cheating emotionally too as well as sexually and she can only just fuck? That's the only guidelines. No emotional, just fuck. Or he has to be involved or something of the sort. Like, I'm confused on what's happening here. Some freaks in the comments, let me know. My Freakiana fans, uh, I'm not a part of the community of the freaks and I'm not judging the freakazoids, okay? Y'all live it on up. I'm just confused by this situation of the freaks. I know you had an affair just before we got married. I know there's going to become, come a time when I probably won't be able to satisfy all your needs. I want you to know that I am okay with you finding what you need elsewhere. I only have two rules. One is, don't give me a reason to look for it. Secondly, keep the kids out of it. You tell me how it looks, okay. a married woman he going to live with a single man I wasn't in a five-bedroom house. Bullshit. The kids I, he told wasn't me. even there half the time. I, he worked oh, in 17 different cities. They even told me you were sleeping with him when you said you weren't. Jeremiah no, said, Gordon, I saw mommy sleeping with Gordon. Mr. Ink. Not me. I got the children involved. Girl, I'm not. Okay, hold on. He, I'm not trying to say you're a sour mother because I'm not a mother and I don't know what it takes to be a mother and all that entails being a mother. But I don't feel like being a good mother like involves having your child in your affairs like why does your children know that you are hunching upon a new man and now he's telling the old man literally the old man that you are hunting upon your new man why are they involved in like hold on this is too much i get you guys have an open whatever y'all got going on that y'all do you and gordon but to have the kids a part of it. I don't know if that's good for their mental health, but girl, you keep on living it all up. Could you mind telling us a little bit about and your history? Okay, first he doesn't want to be called <laughs> We can start there. His name is Ink. How long were you guys in a relationship? I met Mia, uh, I knew Mia about, about what it was, probably about three and a half, three and a half years. And then did y'all break up because the relationship got to be long distance? Yeah, that would, that would pretty much be it. Because for me, like I said, I wanted to further my career. And just for her, it didn't make sense for her to go backwards. So uh, we stayed in contact. And then, you know, she ended up getting married the first time. And then um, she ended up getting married again. Did you guys keep in touch while she had her first marriage? No. We always been very respectful. Mm -hmm. Like we always just kept in touch, like friendship. And then you know when social media came around, you follow each other on social media. What we had back then, like uh, when Twitter first came out, mm -hmm. you know maybe Twitter. Uh, what you had, Facebook. What's another? I'm trying to think of another one. MySpace. I can't. I don't think Mia ever had a MySpace, bro. And if she did, I hope I was in the top eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so take me back to you guys were in this relationship. Y'all moved to Charlotte together. Yes. Then you guys broke up. Yes. She got married. Yes. Um, then remarried. And she now is married still to Gordon. Yes. Right? True. Have you met Gordon? Yes. We've actually uh, hung out a few times. Y'all hung, hung out a few times while she and Gordon were married in a happy place? No. This is post-separation. Like, since they've been separated, mm -hmm. I've met him and had conversations with him and... We talked. I had a prostate cancer. My things, organs weren't working like they used to. On my 70th birthday, I said, you know, if you find someone that you think you want to start spending time with, I want you to know I'm okay with that. What really aggravates me through all of this is that I've given her permission. But yet she still chooses to sneak around, chooses to lie, chooses to continually change her story about what's going on and why she's leaving me and this, that, and the other, and actually not even telling me why. What she's told me, well, she's told me that this guy's her soulmate. I said, well, dang, you can have the best of both worlds. I've said you can see someone, just don't make it public. Be careful and don't involve the kids. Well, she still sneaks through, still sneaking around and thinking I didn't know. I mean, 
I see the phone records. I pay the phone bills. My name's on the account. I see. You were careless coming in at 2 o'clock in the morning. I look at the phone bill. You and he talking from the time you leave wherever to two minutes before you get home and get in the garage. Then you would take him around the kids. And I see the calls at 2 o'clock in the morning and the times when I'm away from home and all those kinds of things. Go to his house, have the kids there like you were trying to. Jerome, Juju asked me, Dad, why is Mommy trying to replace you with Mr. Inc? So I knew what was going on. But, you know, she, she made the choice, I guess, to choose him over me. We're on the phone with you know who. So then I took your phone for two hours. Then you got mad and went off to Atlanta with Yes, because you, well, you took my phone and, and locked me in a room. Okay? I said for two hours you can have a back, get some rest. Gordon, you're not my dad. <clears throat> um, absolutely the fuck not, okay? I was on Gordon's side just a little bit, only when he was talking about the kids being involved into this situation of their affairs or whatever the fuck is going on, okay? Don't involve the children. But you locking your wife, your children's mother, in a room for two hours is not acceptable. That's very much P. Diddy behavior or R. Kelly behavior. You know that we don't have slaves nowadays in this bitch court. And what's going on? I don't know if you had a flashback back in the old days of slavery and so on. Not that you would have been a slave master, but I don't know if you just felt the need to invoke a slave master in this hoe. But you very much are being a slave master by locking your wife up in a room for two hours. And I'm not trying to play you, but you should have known what you got yourself into when you cheated on your last wife with this one by meeting her in a goddamn strip club in her ball gown. Now, I'm not playing strippers. I'm just saying that's where you met the wife that you cheated on your last wife with. And now look at all the antics that have come with. You took my you phone, locked to me her. in a room. Gordon. Gordon. This is so unproductive. It's a waste of my time. You just can't help yourself. <sighs> And y'all want to call Mia the future of the show. Where is she leading the show? Because where she is leading it into is love and hip hop territories in this bitch. Because the next storyline that is being dropped or being introduced to us is Gordon says that one of their children may not be in fact his. So I guess when Mia was cheating, she had a child with another man and put it off as Gordon's child. Now, we don't know if this is true or not. Gordon could just be snapping and going unhinged in this bitch, but I guess you take that chance when you are sleeping with multiple men. I'm not trying to play you sexually liberated people. I'm just saying, like, what's going on here in the case of Mia and Gordon? Like, what the fuck? You don't know your child's father? We're doing this on television? First of all, we're having the... Uh, I'm not trying to play your mothering skills. I'm just like, wow, this is a lot. I feel like your children will see this in the future. So I don't know, again, if this is good for their mental health. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion now in this bitch. Let's get into it. You know, I have to say, I love this show. But as a fan, it was somewhat frustrating to watch this season. Like, I noticed the two of y'all, like, looking at each other, kind of, make like, smirking, like, making facial expressions surrounding the conversation about grace. You know for a fact the impact of calling somebody or somebody's family member a witch. What my mom submitted my name to a shrine. It, can, okay. Robin, Candace, let's not ignore the elephant in the room. I mean, there were some strong things said on the beach. It, and, and you guys closed it out rather, honestly, roughly. So. My question is, is there any hope that you guys could get back to progression in your relationship? Um, <sighs> hmm. What I've experienced, she thinks she did nothing wrong to me. And I feel like that when Candace is in the room, you're much quieter. I'm totally fine. There's really fine. nothing to I'm face. totally fine. Oh, I mean, there's, Poor, there okay, is... Okay, here we go. She does not want to acknowledge me because she thinks that if she doesn't speak to me, then I will disappear. But my yes, black ass is still sitting here. Because the show, you know, is about finding common ground. And it's about taking ownership of actions as they affect others. Ha! <laughs> Bullshit. Since when? Because y'all let Giselle and Robin not take accountability for how many seasons? That's what now the show is about? <laughs> okay, girl. As I have watched the show, it's Giselle, 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 
Giselle's an imp. Giselle's the devil. Oh, are we supposed to feel bad for you? I mean, you started this mess with Candace last season with her husband, and now you're wondering why Candace would call you evil in all of these names, and you're wondering why the audience would be eating you up almost every fucking week because you don't own your messiness. Maybe if you lived in your messiness and owned up to it, that would be fine, but you don't take any accountability of your messiness. You just try to play dumb, like you don't do anything. You fuck with people's husbands and marriages and kids and so on, or maybe not kids, but you fuck with their marriages and with them personally, and then you get confused when they clap back at your ass. I, I'm just, come on, girl, you're not an angel. Wanted to talk to you really quickly. Yes. Um, in light of Chris had DM'd Ashley and... <laughs> Um, there was a situation in which Chris made me feel completely uncomfortable. What I heard was very disturbing. A comfort zone that does not exist for you where Chris is concerned. Correct. And Chris thinks that you're more comfortable than you are. Correct. You mentioned that you all went into your dressing room, you and, my, and Chris. Yeah. And you were uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. I'm in a hotel room with a married man, mm -hmm. and it is his word against mine as to what's happening in this room. Giselle has a, a history, and there is a reputation there of her being fast um, in her past, and her being um, loose in her past. This, this is these are facts. I'm not making this up. Um, so you know, I see her flirting with Chris, and it's like, oh, po, po thing, just po thing. That's cute. It never You said po thing or poke thing. Po. Oh. P-O apostrophe. <laughs> po. Po thing. That's it's it's just you you can't you can't ask for for more from from someone who can only give you less than half. Like I, I can't it never bothered me. So he may be attracted. She's a beautiful woman. I'm attracted to Giselle. She's a beautiful woman. Like, I'm attracted she's, she's to Giselle. A beautiful woman. Giselle's gorgeous. Okay. Yes, I agree. L listen, she's beautiful, but a shell is a shell, okay? And shells often have funky insides, and that's one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, I never felt like... Candace is a fun girl. Like, you can go out with her, you can have fun, you can kiki. But then, like, to have, like, a real hardcore relationship with her and uh, and want, and for her to, for you to expect that she's going to be an adult, like, have adult conversations, I've just never gotten that from her. Mm. Looking back on the dance studio moment, do you wish you approached that whole Chris situation differently, knowing that it would eventually result in the kind of, like, demise of your friendship? I approached that situation. I thought about that. I, I approached it. Very, I, I chose all my words carefully. I didn't add any like extra drama and hot sauce and tea to it, which I know how to do very well. And I didn't do that because we were friends. Now we're no longer friends. So I can real get to the, get to the tea and the nitty gritty of it all. And I, you know, and that's what the reunion is for. Okay. No one talks about relationships except for the fact that Giselle constantly attacks our husbands. So when you attack our husband, we return serve by saying, how can you attack us when we have no one in your life to even attack? Why would you bring a lie on this platform if you know it's a lie? Because why you're breathing you life into it by why bringing it up on the show. It? So that's why she is Giselle Lax Bryant, because <laughs> you can't attack somebody if you lack that thing that you're attacking in that other person. Her you point was specifically yeah. that you're putting something out there about her husband that's not true. Like I said, I don't understand why Miss Giselle is so confused to why the other girls are eating her up all the fucking time. They eat you up because you come for their marriages and you come for them. Granted, this is a reality show where housewives do that in general, but I'm just saying don't act confused to why they're reacting to your sour behavior. Okay, so now we're going to move on to... Juan and Rabiana. Okay. I know that there were a lot of doubts within the group about his story at the start of the season. Who believes Juan's story? No, I Andy, I don't think no. it's for us. None no. of us believe but it. Robin but Robin believes it. Yeah, so that's, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That was foolish, but, but... We chose to move forward. We chose to get married. I wasn't expecting, like, 
the firestorm that came out of it. This this really feels like this is a protect Juan campaign. It's not. Listen, the woman in Canada, the story is crazy, right? Yes. He would not make up a crazy story. He would actually make up a better story. Juan was still communicating with her. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. He, he should not have been communicating with her. That's okay. the problem. So you're making him accountable for that. It, we dealt with it, right? Right. I found out, I was angry. I told him, get the f out. We worked through it. Although Juan was not smart in communicating with the female in Canada, he's not dumb enough to be anywhere in public being affectionate and physical with another woman. How do you feel about the other wives, you know, throwing some shade your way heading into this season? I, I mean, really nothing that they say is, in, is of importance to me. Um, I don't really, I, wh how am I being held accountable? Did I do something to them? Did I do something, did I commit a crime? Like, I'm just trying to, like, yes. what needs to be, what needs to be happen here? You know what I mean? What, I don't, I don't really understand. And so I, I think they're expecting something else. They're, they're expecting me to dance around and hide, you know, oh, I'm not talking about it. Oh, and, and that's the total opposite. Like, I'm in, in the season, I'm like, okay, it's in the, it's, you know, we're talking about it. It's in the news, it's in social media. We'll talk about it. I'm not hiding from anything. Um, but just because I chose not to share something about my life that wasn't relevant at the time when we were filming season seven, that doesn't mean you're supposed to walk in front of a camera and then all of a sudden make up a storyline with my husband and say, hey, you remember when you did that to me? I'm really upset about it, even though we resolved it. Like, I can't, I can't live my relationship like that. I'm not doing that to my husband, to my best friend of over since 1996. I'm not doing that to him. You know what I mean? And it's her job okay. and her friends to support, to support her. her. Okay. Can I ask one little thing? Sure. It, when he said, like, Bree's like a beautiful woman, th did that bother you at all? No, because the point was, if he had been at the laundromat with someone who was not beautiful, it wouldn't have been an issue. I got it. So y'all know the rumors of Rabiana being fired? Well, I hope they are true. I know we have the song, Miss Rabiana, Tapiana, Strapiana, whatever. Rabiana, Tapiana, Strapiana, Dykiana. Rabiana, Miss Dyk, 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 Dyk. The Dykiana, Miss Rabiana, Miss Dyk, 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 Rabiana, Tapiana, Strapiana, Dykiana, Rabiana, to Tapiana, Miss Strapiana, the Dykiana, Miss Rabiana, Miss Dyk, 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 Rabiana, Tapiana, Strapiana, Dykiana, Rabiana, the Dykiana. Rabiana. I'm really happy for her to maybe have this opportunity to show some decorum to Robert up as she always does and be the Robert that we know her to be and handle her shit. Yes, okay. Shout out to her for making us have that moment. While well, I enjoyed that moment, I want it to be over because I can't take you being a dumbass bitch with Juan anymore. And I know you are the victim of Juan's ill and wrongdoings, but you just accept any old sour thing that this man does and tells you. I can't take it. And maybe you're just doing it for a check, like you don't want to air him out so you can keep up the antics of being a housewife without not being a housewife, because if you don't have him as your husband, then you won't be a housewife. I mean, you won't have the title. And maybe they'll drop you down to a friend of so maybe that's it. Are you guys following? But I don't know if that's really it. I don't know what's going on, but I just want you to live your true, authentic life. And that's with Giselle as your bottom. Allegedly in this bitch, cause I don't wanna get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. They are going to jail, period. I'm playing. But girl, I really do wish you would just live your authentic life. And clearly I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe this is your authentic life. You getting cheated on and being told lies and being married to a man who doesn't love you. Maybe this is your real life. I just don't want that for you. And I don't want to have to keep seeing it every motherfucking season. It's too much. You feel like he was supportive of you throughout filming? Yes, he showed up, he answered questions. He's not showing up tonight. 
That's oh, fine. He yeah. does not have a basketball game. No, oh. he doesn't. He declined to be here. Okay. Oh, Andy. That was shady. Well, so that Andy. doesn't, that doesn't well, mean that he doesn't support me. Why is he not here, Robin? He doesn't know that you're going to be under fire not, tonight no. because of his actions. The no, least he can do as your husband no. is to stand behind you and say, baby, you don't have to take all the bullets. I can take some, too. Yes, they eating you up. They eating you to the bone for your last reunion. How you feel about that? Girl, I know you're going out sad. They're eating you for your and Juan's last reunion, the one he couldn't even show up for. This is the second reunion he couldn't show up for to take accountability or help you take accountability. And Andy, while I love you throwing shade at Mr. Juan not being there, how come you didn't throw shade at Mr. Mauricio? Where was he at? He could have been at the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion to take accountability for his actions with Miss Kyle so we can ask him things. I was wondering where he was at. But you're not throwing shade towards Kyle. Hmm, I see how you do. Okay. <laughs> Kiki from New Brunswick said, Karen, why did you have to pause for so long when asked how many sexual partners you've had? Well, I had to count the wet dreams because I asked if it matter. And then Wendy said to me, well, Karen, you can't have wet dreams. So anyway, I count my wet dreams, yes, Andy. In other words, you can't keep track of how many people you've had sex with in the past five no, Robin, years. That would be Juan. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next. That would be you. I will say, uh, Miss Rabiana, girl, you walked yourself into a trap. Why would you make a joke about one's relationship when yours is the most sour of the bunch, girl? And granted, maybe Karen really is cheating on her husband. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm not in her panties. You guys have been saying this for seasons. Just like you guys have been saying she is a drunk and look what happened. She didn't got a damn DUI in this bitch. But you, like I just said, shouldn't be making jokes when you have the most sour relationship of them all. Don't make no goddamn sense. But we're going to end this recap here. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see y'all next week when I go over the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion some more. <laughs>